Hello, welcome to the service of morning prayer for Monday the 7th of December 2020. Uh, the 7th of December uh, is the day when the church remembers Ambrose of Milan, uh, who was a bishop uh, involved in the early controversies of the church. Uh, to him uh, is attributed the idea of Ambrosian chant. Although that may be legendary, there's very little doubt that he did write at least four hymns, uh, and uh, one of them we're going to use in our worship today. In order to follow this service, uh, you will need to have with you uh, a Bible so that you can read the Bible readings, and you'll also need to be able to shut me up for the purpose of doing that, so you'll need the video remote if I'm on video at the far side of the room. And just so you know, uh, Ambrose, uh, the legend says, uh, when he was a baby, a swarm of bees came and settled on his face and left some honey. And so they thought that he would be a honeyed speaker. So I've got some beehives in my garden. Uh, one of the traditional uh, framed hives and also one of the top bar hives. Let's ask God into our hearts by his Holy Spirit. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Reveal among us the light of your presence, that we may behold your power and glory. Uh, the Ambrosian hymns that Ambrose wrote uh, were all in the style of having uh, iambic feet, uh, and in English uh, they're translated usually by a metre of 8888. So this is the traditional way uh, of singing an Ambrosian hymn. And this particular one uh, is about the virgin birth and about the Lord who came to the earth as a person. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Please pause this video as you pray yourself. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The psalm set for today is Psalm 44. It's a psalm of lament. It says to God, uh, it was great in the days of old, uh, but why is it not like that nowadays? Uh, o Lord, arise uh, and uh, do something about our present situation. And it is a suitable song for putting into words our feelings when we have our own backs against the wall. Here's a sung version of it. And you planted our race It was not by 
the sword that they triumphed, O Lord. It was you, Lord, among them, and the light of your face. You are King and God, you gave victory for Jacob. In your name we trampled all our foes. In our God we boasted, for our enemies were toasted, and we praise your name that no one could oppose. And you might like to pause the video and reflect on that psalm. The Old Testament reading is in the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 45, verses 14 to the end. Please pause the video and read that in your own Bible. You'll see that Isaiah is writing in poetry, uh, and there's a challenge there to set that as words of a hymn, isn't there? I haven't taken up that challenge, uh, but if you wish, you can use Isaiah chapter 35 as a canticle. In the New Testament, uh, we're starting at St Paul's first letter to the Thessalonians. Depending on what you think about the date of Galatians, uh, this might be Paul's first letter, uh, and in it he says how much he thanks God uh, for the Thessalonians. You can read about his visit to the Thessalonians, of course, in Acts. Please pause uh, and read 1 Thessalonians chapter 1 in your own Bible. And although we could have picked a hymn of thanks to respond to that reading with, uh, let's rather pick Te Deum Laudamus. Uh, it was attributed to uh, Ambrose, although I feel certain uh, that actually uh, it was written later than Ambrose, uh, but in his style. Here's a sung version of the ancient hymn. 
And so let us turn to prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for people like Ambrose, who held the line against heresy in his day, uh, who was well known for his way of speaking in a way which helped people to resolve their differences and come to compromise positions. And we thank you also for the way that he introduced music into the church on a regular basis. Help us to put into practice in our lives some of those things, particularly the art of honeyed speech, whereby we may resolve differences rather than exacerbate them. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks that your scripture reassures us that it is okay for us to moan at you when things are not going to plan, and to ask you for your help when it seems uh, that our backs are against the wall. Help us to have the honesty with you that the psalmist had, and so help us to see your response and your goodness in our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And Father, as we read 1 Thessalonians, we are struck by the impact that the Gospel made on the lives of ordinary people who invited Jesus into their hearts. Help us to be looking for that same response in our generation, and to welcome him afresh, that he might transform us too. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please pause the video and put before God the thoughts of your own hearts. And please join us in praying the Lord's Prayer as Jesus taught his first disciples. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so may God's grace and power be on our lips and in our lives. May the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.